What's going on, everybody? My name is Dr. Kiel Rashad Dix, and I am a professor here at the Lincoln University, the first degree granting HBCU in the country. Um, also, I'm a professional bodybuilder. So I am at Lincoln University right now with Akil Dix, Dr. Akil Dix actually, and we're getting some footage down of him actually being a professor at Lincoln University, and then tomorrow we're going to be in the gym killing it with him as an IFBB pro and then his partner. We're going to get some really good footage, so I hope you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because you guys are going to love everything that's coming out of today. All right, everybody, this is the reason why we're here right now, Dr. Akil. IFBB pro, professor, doctor. I just can give him so many titles right now. Oh man. But I'm, I feel I'm elated. It feels good. <laughs> so basically, we're going to be showing you what he does as a professor at Lincoln University. And tomorrow, we're going to actually go and work out with Akil. There's actually a gym over here, if anyone can see. We're actually going to work out with him and his trainer tomorrow. And we're going to get some sick footage down. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you follow my buddy Akil because I his progress, you, progress is completely amazing. Um, his journey is amazing. And I guarantee the content he puts out. And also, he's going to be on the pro stage. And you guys are going to really remember this name. So I this guarantee is that. our issues too. But most of the time, the students come here. It's actually a very nice gym, bro. I train here sometimes. And I oh, yeah. When I can't get to... Anybody see this gym? I train here. Up here, if you look up, that's a track. That's crazy. A track up there? That's insane. This is a very, very nice gym, especially for college, man. They use it. It's not Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell it's used. So I get a good arm workout here. Shoulders, that's why I train here. Come back to college. Squat racks. Got everything here. Basically, hammer strength equipment. And around the corner, you have um, dance studios. So normally it gets busy in here around three, four o'clock. Typical gym hours. Oh yeah. It yeah, gets yeah, busy in here after class. So like I said, everybody, there's no Tosh, excuses, what especially when it comes to Keel. See him walking around, eating his meals, make Why sure he gets his meals in. in there? Also, he's got his cardio equipment everywhere. He's getting his cardio down. Okay. He's got the gym at his work. Okay, that's fine. That's the reason why this guy's a pro. That's the reason why he's taking this this far because he's unstoppable. We will have a quiz at the end of, of the class. Five questions open ended. But today we will look at the significance of the epidemiological perspective. Slide down. Squeeze in. Act like you love each other. You're my way up here. We actually got a really good session here at Lincoln University. So, what I'm going to say to all my young viewers, stay in school and make sure you go to college because it's actually pretty interesting hearing him talk. What is up, everybody? I am back with my main man, Akil, and we're going to be training today. Akil, where are we at? We're at the training center in Delaware. It's the most exciting gym where the hardcore workouts take place. Oh, uh, they definitely do. Leave all, leave, leave, just leave all the baby in outside the door. <laughs> Come in here and get this work today. Are we going to be training legs today? We're going a little bit of legs, but basically hamstrings, calves, calves and glutes today. Now, if all of you know on my channel, that's my weak point. So I <laughs> called Akil. I said, listen, I want to die. I want to train with two IFBB pros today. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's going to be intense. Let's go.
I've been collabing with Iso Pure for the past few months. Uh, they sent me the products to test out. The amino acids I really like. Um, I like the grape flavor. I like fruit punch flavor too. Um, but with my workouts, I noticed that the amino acids have really been giving me that pump. And the new pre-workout that they have, which is the Anytime Energy, I only take, people take two scoops, I only take one, and I'm going. And like I said, we're gonna be doing this workout today, and uh, I'm doing legs, so I'm gonna maybe do two scoops. Maybe one and a half, see what we can do. And on some days when I'm really running and gunning, actually trying to get it done, I actually use the infusions uh, this is tropical, this is a tropical fruit punch. The tropical punch is really good, it's really smooth, mixes up very easily. Um, been using this for two months too. Uh, I love it so far. I'm an old school type guy. I actually like the original Iso Pure Ways. I've been doing it for about two and a half years now. Um, but I'll do this after my workout. Trust me, the flavor is amazing. If you haven't tried them yet, you guys are really missing out. <sighs> You gonna make it? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I knew what I was getting myself into, but not, uh, not this bad. So now you clearly see why only one part of the leg is trained at a time. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, for those people that do leg day for like two, three hours, all body parts or all leg parts, you can't do it. Men's you gotta physique. separate them. <laughs> yeah. Men's physique. This is the back of the legs. The next one is quad dominant. Ready? You did 40, right? Yeah. Ten. Ten. Yep. Two second hold at the top. Chest down. Chest, Chest up. up. Chest up, I mean. Chest up. Pelvis down. Just like that. Yeah. Like that. Stay like that. Woo! That's heavy for him. Take that down, so I'll go 110. One. Good. Get this guy to help you out. Kill him, don't kill him. Three. <laughs> All the way down. Four. All the way down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Hold that contraction. Nine. Big squeeze at the top. Give it Oh, I told Akil, I won't go as I said, dude, I'm going to get a leg workout in with you someday. I know it was going to be now, but whew, because Anthony became pro. Four, four, five, five, five. We're going to get all the way up there now, kid. Now squeeze, there we go. Come on down. Three more. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. One more after that. One more. Come on. Squeeze. It's starting to feel like jello already. It's okay, man. That's what no, you good. Woo! Training to failure or failing to win, you pick. When I get to the very top to squeeze it though, there ain't nothing there to feel like. Yeah. Trying to hold it, man. That's what you're doing though. You're squeezing. You're just, your whole mind's just wrecked. That's oh, yeah. how, you know, that's the training. And then, you know, eventually you become used to it. Yeah. You know, like they're asking. Everybody asks me, like are you hurt? just told me, it's a mental game. Yeah, yeah. are you body? Of course I'm hurt. Everything hurts. Oh, yeah. Well, this around, how many kills is the one? Hopefully we're strong enough for that. Right. I'm not afraid to post my failures. Come on, what are you gonna do for your wife today? That's right. One. Three. Four, all the way up. Good, come on, halfway. Six. Come on, seven. Eight. Eight. Come on. Eight. Nine. There we go. One more. Oh, 
was heavy. That's why he got some drool on there for you. Hold on. Hold on. Last one. That was pretty good, huh? Then we got, we got next to yeah. You'll be able to bail yourself out with your arms. Yeah. You got that, kid. This time. Now we got two more rounds. Full reps, partials to failure. Ah. It's light. It's very light. Come on. Nice and smooth on that first one. One, two, good job. Yeah, it's halfway. There you go. Come on. There you go. Seven, two, come on, chest up now. I need that chest up. Come on. Make this one count. Let's go. Slow, slow, slow. I noticed. That's all right, though, because I noticed. that's more than he's ever done, so I'm proud of him. In case some of you don't know, hey, sweaty, could you push Fred Biggie Smalls right here. <laughs> Fred was my first personal trainer. He actually wrote out my diets and training. The workout we're doing today is taking care of all of us. So, Fred, how's everything been with you? I know you've been having a road recovery. Is everything going well? Things are great, man. The best, ah! you know, we just switched gears uh, before the last, since 2011. We've been working on our career, you know, been to multiple Olympias, been all over the world posing and stuff like that. But with the injury, it's forced me to kind of shift gears a little bit. We're putting more energy into uh, the um, the business, but it's so rewarding, man. It's still bodybuilding. I mean, we have so many people competing on Team Biggie Smalls, and and uh, you know, like the, one of the guys you're training today or filming today, Eddie. Um, you know, we've done amazing things in a very short period of time with his physique. And, and trust me, everybody, follow him on Instagram because. The progress you've seen with his recovery, it's faster than anything I've ever seen. He actually tore, it's this pec, right? Yeah. He actually tore the pec off. He had that shoulder surgery too, right? Just uh, reattached everything, surgery reattached everything on uh, October 18th. And like I said, follow his journey because he's coming back. I've seen Fred before. What was the last time you said you had a really bad virus? You lost like 40 some pounds? Yeah, yeah, we, we got Salmonella coming back from Hong Kong. I just taken second at the, um, at the uh, Arnold, Hong Kong, Arnold Asia, and um, we had to qualify for our fourth Olympia and then get back home and realize I'm dropping weight, can't keep anything in, and went in the hospital um, at 240 pounds and came out at 203, so. Such a crazy journey, Fred, but I can tell you right now, I've seen your recovery, I watch all your videos on Instagram, and like I said, man, you're not letting anything stop you. And that's what I like about you, especially with your personal training, too. There's no excuses, there's no BS, there's no nothing. And like I said, Fred, I, I have no doubt in my mind, six months from now, you'll be back where you were. Uh, I appreciate that, man. I mean, I got strong motivation. You know, I got four uh, wonderful children at home who uh, look up to me to, to be, you know, their role model. And then, you know, my wife is incred incredibly supportive. And, um, you know, and then, you know, I just love it, man. Between the fans, the, the clients, and it's just, uh, I have fun every day. I tell everybody, I never work. I just have fun all the time. So, helping people, and that's what I love to do. So. Hey yeah, guys, like I said, I want you to subscribe to the channel. I want you to follow Fred. I can guarantee you'll be more motivated with everything he posts up on there. Subscribe to the channel, like Fred's Instagram, blow up all of his pictures, and join Team Biggie Smalls, is it? Yeah, Team Biggie Smalls. I'm gonna kill it. See you later, guys. Ah! You got four sets of 20. So this right here. This sucks. Really helps your glute ham tie-ins. But once you got, you gotta get like the movement, the mechanism. And, and Eddie's only five foot. He's, he's mad. So, he's mad. He's mad. That's his defense back. So that's why we gotta have the, the platform all the way up. Because he's vertically challenged. See what I got put up with? I don't be mad at your sword next day. I don't care. Uh, so when you jump in here, big dog, you want your heels back and up. He's gonna put his Achilles tendon against the top of that pad. He's, he's in it backwards. You want your, not your shin. You want your Achilles up, up and back as far as you
hamstrings and your glutes to, to, and this, to engage, the, engage the muscle to pull yourself backwards. You know, and, and you can control with your hand, um, you know, how much assistance you're giving yourself. So again, this is one, just like before, you know, you can, you can cheat yourself and it could be arm day, you know, or you can have a better high quarters, you know. You see everybody, this is the, this is the stuff right here, the little fine tunes when it comes to bodybuilding. You can even come down more. You're, you're doing these little tiny movements, you're doing these little workouts that, you know, when you're at the gym, you say, I don't want to do that. You know, you want to get that heavy lifting in, but it's the little stuff like this that means the most. And it actually, in bodybuilding, it just means everything. But if you're a regular Joe Schmo that just wants to lift heavy and stuff like that, you're not going to get the results that they're getting because they're doing everything under the sun to get perfection. And this is all perfection right here. As I said before, I'm a professional by IFBB Pro, and I turned pro that's just this last June at Junior Nationals. And tragically, two weeks after I earned my pro card, my career was almost ended. Um, I was in a near fatal car accident leaving New York. Uh, I woke up, I passed out driving, and my car uh, ran under a 16-wheeler tractor trailer. To this day, I couldn't tell you what happened. I don't remember. The only thing I remember from the accident actually is when um, I was being pulled out the window by a good Samaritan. And I, I, but other than that, I don't remember. And by the grace of God, you know, looking at the car and the impact that happened, I shouldn't be here today. So I thank God for allowing me to see another day because I could have been gone. I could have been dead. My parents could have been putting me six feet. But God saw fit to give me a second chance at life. So after, all the, after the accident, I broke my shoulder, my clavicle. And to this day, I have a metal rod in my shoulder with four screws. Um, but it hasn't stopped me. Um, my training has been more effective now than it has before. But um, I work around it. I have no pain. It was a long recovery, and uh, I'm excited, you know, that I healed the way I healed. So, having an amazing training partner, people around me supporting me, but um, I tell anybody, don't take life for granted, because it could be you here today, you can be going tomorrow. Thank you. And eventually, everything, everything will come full surface and come, and come to fruition in your life. Yeah. And I, what you gotta work for, and this man works hard as hell, because I, it's no way. Now I, I, I couldn't do what he does. There's no way I can work, push a mow, push a mower, push all yeah. that. And, all and that then come in here and give intense labor, and then doing this. It's insane. I, I thanks for because yeah, I tell him. I'm like, <laughs> edit, edit, say, can we train later? I'm like, yeah, I get extra naps, in, you know, because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm big on my naps. I'm training late because I'm still working. And he was like, well, I gotta, I gotta work. Okay, that's more nap, more nap time for me. Because I believe in, it's just me. I, I love my yeah, naps. I love like, my naps too. For those, for, those of you that, for those of you viewers that don't know though, obviously we, yesterday we were at school with the heel, the professor. You see the little pencil pusher life he's got. It's great. <laughs> my man Eddie right here actually owns a landscaping business. I'm gonna put his landscaping business in the description below. But these are two different lifestyles, yet they're both pushing themselves harder and harder. And he's doing, doing, pencils. <laughs> I'm done. I quit. And like I said, doing manual labor like that and then having to come in here, me when I used to do hydro blasting and construction, and then I had to do that all day in the hot sun and go to the gym for two hours, it really makes a man out of you. And it's insane. Um, but like I said, man, these are all different ventures of life. We're all here for the same thing, just to lift weights and push ourselves. And this road's not easy, man, but you guys are getting there. You guys are already there, but there's so much more. What you got to accomplish? 2019, Las Vegas, September, Olympia. With that being said, I know these guys got to go get their food in just like I do. And I actually might need a wheelchair because my legs are killing me. Now you'll feel it more tomorrow. So, <laughs> you'll be out here today. It's always tomorrow, two days later. Tomorrow you get it hurt. So IFBB Pro, Eddie Pierre? Papiro. Papiro. I'm very bad with names. And then we have IFBB Pro, Heel Dicks, AKA the Dr. Muscles. But everyone, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're going to put all the links down in the description. 
I want you guys to subscribe to the channel. I want you to comment on the video. I want you to follow both of these guys' Instagrams because they will be there. And I want you guys to take everything that we've done today and apply it to life. And right? I interact. We both interact with everyone who comments. We will. We reply. We not. We're not Hollywood. We and we comment yes. back. <laughs> yes. I'm a He's a doctor. He doesn't make. He doesn't make. Uh, the doctor. That's great. All right, everybody. It's been real. I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you.